Welcome to part 3 of this WebSphere Message Broker tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how our example banking application can be deployed to an Android mobile device. Previously, in part 2, we created our app using the Android emulator and used it to query our example bank account details. Before we deploy the app onto our mobile Android device, we need to ensure some system parameters and device drivers are installed and set up correctly. Within the Worklight Studio, open the Android SDK Manager and ensure an up-to-date version is installed. Also check in the Extras directory a USB driver is installed. If you do not have the Android SDK installed, check online for download details. You will need to install the Android SDK to provide you with the API libraries and developer tools necessary to build, test and debug apps for mobile Android devices. Also check on your mobile device that USB debugging is turned on and that the correct ADB drivers for your mobile device are installed using PDA Net. For debugging purposes, if your drivers are not automatically installed, using PDA Net, download the software and follow the on-screen instructions to download the correct driver for your mobile device. Within the Android SDK directory for platform tools, press Shift and right-click to bring up a sub-menu. From here, select Open Command Window here. From the command line, type ADB Devices and press Enter. If your drivers are working, then the mobile device serial number will be shown. Within your operating system device manager, find the mobile Android device, right click and select Update Driver Software. We are now ready to deploy the application to our mobile device. A system message will appear like this one once your device has been connected and recognized. Once you are set up to communicate with your mobile device, go back into the Worklight Studio and right-click on the test application. Click Run As and select Android Application. If we move to the console area at the bottom of the screen, click Display Selected Console, select Android, we can see that our application has now been successfully deployed and installed on the mobile Android device. If we now look at our mobile device, we can see the example banking application is now fully deployed and installed and looks just like it does in the Worklight Studio. It is now a true standalone application on the mobile device desktop. Finally, if we unplug the device, the application remains working and we can still follow the same steps running our example banking application. In summary, across these three tutorials, we have shown how to create an application using a predefined pattern in Message Broker, which was then further enhanced using IBM's Worklight Studio, and finally, configuring our environment to enable deployment of our app onto our mobile Android device.